tequila does strange things to you. I don't really, I can't drink much of it anymore, but I had a good run at it for a while. But I, I was playing golf or something. I can't remember, but I had on my, oh, I know, we went in this bar and sort of took over the bandstand, and we were real obnoxious. I mean, we deserved what we got. And I didn't have any shoes on. And they said, well, you got to have shoes to get in here. So I went back to my car, and I put my golf shoes on just to, you know, <laughs> I just did it for spite. I mean, she had to understand the mood <laughs> we were in at that time coming off of this album. So I got out of the car, and I, I mean, I got out of the club, and I went back into the parking lot to look for my car, and I couldn't find my rental car. So I forgot I had these golf shoes on, so I stood on the hood of this car to try to find, I just needed a better point of view, I'm trying to find my car in this parking lot. So I was walking around on the hood of this car in golf shoes, and lo and behold, this guy came out, and I remember there's a couple of things. He, he hit me with a trash can, I think, first and knocked me off of the hood. Then I tried to get in the car, and I was trying to, I'll never forget this, I was trying to start the car, and it was a gremlin. That's why I hate those things to this day. And uh, there were, uh, they had seat belts that you wouldn't start, the car wouldn't start unless you had your seat belt in. So I had Buford Pusser coming in through the window, had me, hitting me like this, and I'm trying to get my seat belt started. I said, I'm gonna be killed because of this car. I said, I can't start the car unless I get my seatbelt in while this maniac was dragging me out the window. I remember stabbing him. The only defense I had, I was stabbing him with a big pen. And uh, the next morning, after we found, then we didn't know who it was. And the guy told us later that it was Buford Pusher. I ran to my room in sheer terror after all this happened. And the next morning, I, we got in the car, and my drummer, Sammy Creason, who was with me at the time, I mean, I was hiding. I was going to Florida and just burying my head in the sand. I wanted to get, I didn't want to be seen by anybody. And we got in the car. I mean, it was broken glass in this car, and he beat my, he beat that car to death. <laughs> Thank God he killed the car because he, he wanted to kill me. Uh, and I got in, and I said, man, I said, look, there's a whole bunch of hair on the floor. I said, he pulled your hair out. And Sammy looked at me and said, no, he broke my nose. He pulled your hair out. And I felt up there, and there was a little spot, like a monk, where he just <laughs> <laughs> So that's the real story.